Okay, before anything at all, this is a retro fighting game. Be warned of flashing lights to prevent epilepsy, especially during super attacks. Just telling you this right now, they ain't pretty. If you want to skip the intro, just click right here to the video. But otherwise, here's my totally not rushed intro. Now, first of all, a new intro. Finally. And hey, new aesthetic too. A new microphone, one that is neither too soft or too sensitive, one that I can actually speak like a normal human being should be able to, not some weird contraption I'm forced to use where I sound like this total garbage. Rody has a worse matchup with Kasumi than Ryo does, but I don't think it's that much worse since Rody can still play their fucking pressure game. Granted, I still need acoustic panels and a proper pop filter, but hey, it's finally progress. The intro song is a work in progress to say the least, and yeah, I know I can afford a new microphone, computer parts, and other stuff to smoothen my setup, but a pop filter? Nah man, that's too much for me, brain rot. Now we all know and love Art of Fighting 3, the game that drives you insane for playing it, but let me tell you this game is legitimately insane. Like, let's be real here. I think it's safe to say the entirety of Art of Fighting 3 is C-Jam's will a kill in video game form. If you love losing channel points, you'll love this game, that's for sure. But seriously, coming up with tournament moments for this game isn't exactly the easiest thing. Though to also be blunt, I just kept pushing the right arrow key to the rhythm of Jun Kazama's theme through every tournament VOD and let it speak for itself what moments looked cool or not. You know, instead of watching the whole VOD. I tried to gather the best clips of everyone else I could gather, and not necessarily just because it kills, but also just wacky, crazy moments in this game like hitboxes, avoiding entire moves, because this game is full of that. Some tourneys have more clips than others, the older ones in particular I heavily glanced over since I don't think people want to watch people shuffle in a fighting game like they're holding their pee in. Also, I'll be honest, I completely forgot the events of number 2 and 3, so uh, there's like 2, 4, maybe 5 clips total. I mean, wow there are a lot of matches that are drawn out in those brackets. Compared to now where people go legit mental, it's very weird. It's a grind, but hey, playing Guard of Fighting 3 is worth that grind. I figured I wouldn't do anything too crazy with this video otherwise though. As of making this, I'm dealing with IRL stuff. Fun! I won't keep you here much longer, but at some point I will update the original Art of Fighting 3 guide video I did with more mechanics and general corrections in an entirely new video, and hopefully the production value goes up. And by that point, I'll try working on more character guides, and also turn out the SVC Chaos guide video I've been saying for months at this point I would make, since I'm a lazy ass as well as Plasma Sword. Don't be me and grind a billion fighting game communities all at once. Just don't. I'll now make promises other than I will make those videos eventually, but also the wiki is even more detailed. Just look at that Kasumi page's my crippling autism bleeds onto it. But okay, show's over. Let's watch some clips. So, yeah, uh, we got eight viewers on stream. Oh, my. You know, like, viewers. This yeah. is probably the most people who've actually even looked at Art of Fighting 3 in the West in donkey's oh, years. I mean, the only way... The only way you would possibly get more than this is if you're, you know, Mikado, and you decide, okay, we're going to stream Art of Fighting 3, and it, but the thing is, Wyler's legal. That's not happening here. We are not making Wyler legal. Well, there's two ways to get this many, to get more people than this. First one is uh, Tencent Binger, yeah. or 
Hey, yo, bro. Do you want to play KOF 98? Yes, bro. I'll come over. Psych. We're <laughs> playing Art of Fighting 3 all the time now. And you can't leave. <laughs> so, stream, if you thought it was going to be playing KOF 98 because some cool dude said it was, you're trapped now. You have to play. Oh, okay. yes. Well, point is, you know, we're streaming now. We have content to show. This works. Okay, so, 1-1, one, one, Kasumi versus Lenny. I'm going for a lot. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't own only the cat, but he does own Arta Fighting Free. Right? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, okay. Do you at least own a hamster version on PS4? They went smooth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I was, it seemed like they went smooth. Oh, oof. Lord Tiki definitely knows what he's doing with Carmen. I don't want to think because I've been out all day. Character. But, but, um, but hey guys, if you want to play the most popular character and not think, play Kasumi and just spam Kasumi. That double. That, I forgot about that. Uh, like one of the most punishable moves in the game. With his huge recovery. It's definitely not full world ST. Uh, Jab. It's like one of the most intense moments of any match, I feel. Because it could be either player who gets the first hit, but it really decides quite a lot about how the match proceeds, because it could decide what a clean perfect he goes about with basic pokes and a lot of triangle jumping, which I certainly haven't been doing, but it's working. 1-1. He just needs a couple more pokes and the match is his. Oh, there we go. Just needed the one poke. Cool, Lance is super. Still in the middle of playing Nuno Arcade. I'll get there in a minute. Until you get knocked down, you go for a pursuit B. More or less just a war of Trish and Blaze better. Oh. Good super. Oh, that oh. was an ultimate kit. I didn't even think about that when I saw it. Ultimate kit. Okay. Immediately, point one, salute. Good job. Okay, let me get in here and commentate. Uh, I can already see on stream that's literally. Nice jump. Yeah, specials just cover all sorts of weird angles. Oh, nice. That's the ultimate KO too. For, for real people, so they had to hire actors. I, I wonder... Yeah, that leads me to imagine like if they just did it Mortal Kombat style. Yeah, that, that's what I was about to say. They just go do gimmicky stuff as often as you can, and... Oh, he shouldn't... Oh, you... It didn't kill! But... Oh, okay, that was... Oof. I'm surprised that 646B did less damage. Ooh. Oh, that's such a oh. funny super. And it caught the back dash. Ooh. You more or less just have to catch Kasumi. You have to catch Kasumi trying to make mistakes. Because the thing is, Kasumi is more or less pretty. Oh, I want to say pretty little on the inside. So it's much more like the long rest of the most recent one. Otherwise, you can make a console or a hand design. So, Yoshi didn't do the 6BB, he does 6B. He already wants one to be able to do even more damage that way. Ooh, 
just needs one poke. One poke and there you go. So the blockade is not always the standard one. It's obviously wrong to say you're AFK and like the wrong blockade will give a different priority instead. But yeah, Jane can reflect the deck tiles and that is on Red's pen is literally unsafe even on hedge so it's like you have to go with the follow-up unless the opponent just doesn't know the match that is such an underwhelming way to finish off someone not even a big powerful uh hit effect but just ah! still save low sweep are we gonna say a low sweep no but we're gonna see pursuit no there he went for it what what happened Okay, I, I know Kasumi is 4C carry as a follow up where you push A, but the first one went like went right through him. But then the second one, he didn't Kasumi didn't go past Rio, but the four but the A of follow up still hit Rio what? Vacuum. Not everyone expects it. It is a very deadly move, that much just for sure. Ooh, the six for six B you think I was absolutely not expecting that. Are we gonna see Rambu? He, he wants to go for Rambu. I know that much. He wants to go for Rambu. A blockable setup. No! Oh! Let's see. Try fa Failed to cross up, but uh, you guys still laying on that pressure. Unblockable. Let's go. Alright, let's go. End of March with another Kimmon. Still deciding. Any case? We got Son of Aozer playing Wong and Kira playing Kasumi. Immediately with this <laughs> into the 4B launcher and into the A jump A B. 6 for 6. Yeah. He has another version of it where he like aims it upwards. Uh, Son of Aozer went to that real spiral mall. I, I haven't been commenting too much on that myself. Ooh, he low profiled. Oh. Oh no. Is that no longer an, a, a true unblockable setup that you could just. Oh no. He low profiled. Guy him in the corner. And, uh. Cross up. He got hit by the 646B. That hitbox is devilish. I didn't think it was that devilish. Okay, I would be trying to go for the overhead. Alright, so Robert going for some great mix up to use the uh I forget, was that the 3B? No no, that was the 4B. Overhead kick regardless. Smoke the Iki guy right there. The Iki guy not really standing his ground. He went for a hop, which got on him using those hops, but uh Okay, simple double combo, nice, nice. Alright, the AD guy's trapped in the corner now. And he did not fall for the Zonrad skin. Okay, nice with the rush combo. Half life. Went for the cross up. Yeah. Ooh, he waited for it. It was. Ouch. He waited, but the Zonrad skin catched him out. As on red skin, you, you just have to be very patient about that move. It, it goes way longer than you had expected to. Does it go for the 5 AP launcher? Not in range though. He dashed just out in time. Hey, Iki guy really just trying to stand his ground with a 6 AA. Just out of range for the uh, typical launch combo. He somehow landed 4, B, 4 A though, surprisingly. And he, he got for a cross up. Yeah, it, it, Kinda works. Missed the 214 OTG. And. Standing his ground. Trying to. Kinda getting the gist of using. Yeah, yeah, there you go. He's getting the gist of using hops, which is definite. He tried to use the Rambu Super. It didn't work though. Got hit by Jump B. By the fireball, and now he's got to play super carefully. Yeah, son of Rioza took it.
Okay, I'm back, but I was just about to say. Why is it? I don't know. This is stupid. I'll have to figure that out later. I thought I fixed it, but apparently that's not enough. Unless I have to just remove it. Okay, but maybe that's what I have to do. Yeah, alright, low kick, Kasane outtake, instant knockdown, another Kasane outtake. Now that's the thing with a Kasumi's Kasane outtake. If it, if you block it, it's completely safe. You cannot put in a Kasane outtake. Beats so, everything in the game, except for like two attacks. And even then, he can just block it. So it's like. And it's a jab that also deals 50% damage. Paid off. Cronin wanted to watch it. Nice. It, I, I mean, I even stayed up past 6 a.m. to make it, which was a mistake on my end because Shoulder. I didn't get enough sleep. Yeah, no, be like that. <laughs> Fighting game. It was worth it, though. I mean, I. I Alright, I deserve that. I, I tried to be cocky. <laughs> oh, wow. I deserve that. <laughs> Yep. So, uh, I'll sign back in and join the tournament. But still, thank you for everyone watching. Thank you for everyone contributing as well. This is, yeah, this is fantastic. amazing. Yeah, so sorry. Sorry I couldn't be around like in full capacity for both tournaments. Sorry about that random last minute get yeah, here. No worries. Yeah. It ended up, it ended up working out anyways. I know next time I know next time I do it again, it'll blow up even more. And yeah, I mean Alan, he's picking the more zoning approach right now. That's absolutely not a bad choice. W three fireballs. Ooh, man. All right, so yeah, Ryo Sakazagi just got beaten. All right, so are we going to see some potential combos? 4A? Would be interesting. I forgot what Jin's 4A frame data is, but... Oh, he hopped over that. He got the punish. Oh, shit. Play him however you want. Only loses to Kasumi. Oh, he tried to sign Redskin. Really good call on there, but... Oh, man. Water die using the super just wasn't enough. He didn't even duck that at all. Really kills his pressure. He is doing an exceptional job against Kira's Kasumi right now, though. Very good job. A really good jump A. Just barely caught that in time. Tried to DP. Yeah, Kira's kind of choking right now. It's not looking good for him. Oh, he had the combo. What, what is this pressure? Oh my god, he's almost dead. What? The, oh, the wake up kick. Holy. That was holy. That, oh man, that. Wow, peace at this point. Oh, he was he got the trade. He was able to hit it first, but Yeah, I... and uh, that's the other thing. Lenny's jab. Very good jab. Not the greatest jab, but certainly a really strong jab. Okay, is that gonna be death? There you go. LC Mike gets Firm. Because here's the thing, in Car a lot of moves that Carmen has, Kasumi can just duck, especially with 2B, and if K Kasumi k ducks with 2B, she high crushes it, and so, um, alright, so, we got Robert and Sinclair, Robert automatically wins this matchup by default. Oh, got the touch of death from Sinclair. Absolute respect to that. You can get higher damage than that. You just need to be able to like react fast enough. And also just know the game in general. Like right there, you saw Ortiki go for that. He got the counter hit. He did not waste any time. When I mean Okay, I'll be fair, that is does sound a little hypocritical. As I said, just jabs and to like five C or basic rush combo, but with Carmen, that's actually a good thing because that's his main B and B to help Sinclair. Okay, got the dash in 3A. Okay, this is getting pretty interesting. 
I'm gonna see some. Ooh, that just barely killed. I, I seriously do have to respect to Jamaru for playing Sinclair right now. He's doing that impressive job. He's the only Sinclair player I've seen seriously play this girl. Still, he's making some pretty good progress. Ah, oh, fucking hell. He almost had it. He almost had it. Oh, this is not looking good for Robert. <laughs> Unblockable? Oh no. Oh no, this is... Yeah, he got hit by the full crouch normal. Good, it's a soft knockdown. We got the 5C overhead, which is a wrong block, so that's why it's staggered. And he was able to get the... 6B... Oh, he got sniped. Ow, he got sniped. That hurts. I wonder if Alana's gonna learn from his mistake of, of uh, Rio. Of not doing the infinite, I wonder. Because whoever wins this match, they're gonna have a sweet treat to Adels. They're gonna have a very sweet treat to Adels. Alright, so one one. They're they're fighting for it. They they want that nice, luxurious, sweet trip to Adels. Mm, but this is a nice city, but Eidos is more appealing, in my opinion. Uh, okay. LCMI is learning. He doesn't know how to fully deal with the lows, but he's learning. Oh, he, oh, that was a very disgusting jump B. Jump B does have two hitboxes, so you technically can use that as a jump in. But I only argue that it's really good as jump in as a hop. And even then, you're better off using uh, jump A because that's safer. Better hitbox. Oh, that was such a clean anti-air. Normal. You're seriously better off just using 646A because the hitbox is just too tall for Carmen to use it reliably. Oh, and um, I think Carmen can actually. Wait, no, it's not dead. Oh, that's unblockable. It's gonna UKO. Our first UKO of the tournament. But no ripped clothes. Alright, so Lurtiki is still playing very clean. Unblockable, I saw that coming a mile away. He went for it. He did not hold back. He just went straight into it. Another UKO. It's not looking good for LC Mai. He Lurtiki is one he's at set point. He only needs one more match and darker or lighter. Which is a really neat touch up that I don't think most people actually notice. And even there, like they go out of the light into the shadow, and so the characters get a darker patch. Pretty interesting. And Kira takes it. 1-0 so far. So. He got the tick throw. Yeah, it's kind of difficult getting those tick throws for any character, but Carmen's pretty good at getting tick throws. And now he's up 2-1. You can actually end combos with a dash A, 4B instead of the 5C, and it's more damage. And it's really... Not that. All right, so good jump C. The other thing that's situational is actually Jin's uh, jump buttons. I mean, they have their use, but Jin has 11 frames jump recovery. And all right, so Tochumaru is picking. No, no. Wait, Lord Tiki's picking Lenny. What is this mix up? No, he's picking Sinclair. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, this is... I have to give extreme amount of respects to this guy for picking Sinclair of all characters. Sinclair is easily the worst character in the game. By a long shot, but oh, man, this is going to be rough for him. Man, he can just zone pretty much all day. He got 4A. It was a counter hit, though, so it didn't launch. Ah, uh, punish. All right. Fireball against Sinclair, there's literally nothing Sinclair can do about that. It's just terrible frame advantage overall, and... Oh, he got the stagger into the jab! Oh, what is this play? Oh, I've never seen... I've never seen 2 8 day jab 2 8 day before in my life. I'm not That's sure, but he had to close A fight... He had to close A uh, confirm. Ooh, he... Very good call from Waddle Beef. Jin's super isn't bad, it's just, you can block it, 
It's basically just Geese's Raging Storm. And Kira takes it. The case. Yeah, we got a water dive playing Jin, Alan, and oh, he tried to go for the unblockable. Got the 5 bb pursuit, and so it's water dots match for meter. Thank you for the follow, Kated, by the way. That's uh. You and I need to catch up sometime, Kated. That's someone I know in real life. Oh sh! <laughs> he reflected House of Koken. Holy shit! He used to play Carmen, and now he plays Lenny. Might be one of the only Lenny players right now. And yeah, we're seeing it right now that Gato is struggling a little playing against uh, Fire Hyphen's Lenny. Oh, tried to go for the launch combo. Oh, he lands the super though, but he's not playing. Oh, he baits that. Baited the super, unblockable. Now both players are kind of just looking for an opening. And Restand, both have really lengthy frames to them. And oh, nice chip out from Gato. Very nice. There's nothing Lenny could have done about that because Rhodey's projectile is a unique projectile and that you cannot punch out at all. You can only do that if it's something like Jin's 2-2-C. Oh, shit, that was very unfortunate. If he had just kept up the rush combo pressure, that would have been 2-2, but unfortunately it's 3-1 for Sonar Veozer. Either deal with it, guess, or oh, just go for a fast attack, or even just get those crazy juggles like you just saw right there. Or turn after it too. Shit. Damn. Oh, it didn't. I'm surprised that didn't UKO. That should have UKO'd. All that. And then she has 5C, which is a 3 frame normal. Just stops the opponent in their tracks completely. That I'm not too surprised in UKO because it looked like he had about 22% health left. Shit, 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 shit. Very close. That was very close. Holy shit. Yeah, so that goes to show that even with the, uh... That goes to show that even with the weak version of Kasumi Super, she's plus on block. I was able to pressure against Jin even after it w was blocked. For some reason. So it's not entirely useless, per se. Recover really fast. got the UKO. He saw that coming a mile away. I feel like he favors playing defensively a little bit, but overall, pretty well-rounded character. So absolutely not a bad choice to be playing Robber. And you're seeing it with that uh, low of Lenny, or 2A. Oh, tried to pressure, just playing the runaway game at the moment. I'm not sure, not sure I agree with this from Fire Hyphen. Yeah, went for the full crouch lows for Lenny, and I'm not really sure how I feel about that, personally. 
So he's losing damage in that regard as well. Nice overhead, I think. It, oh, unblockable setup. Got a UKO. Uh, yeah, Center Vayers are just barely closes it out. And just barely, yeah. If he were out of the corner, I don't think that would have worked, but. I had no idea that Robert's DP could hit two hits, by the way. I always assumed it was just one hit. Yeah, I had no idea that could hit two times. I, I need to, uh. I'll have to lab that. Oh, Prism Effect switch into Jen as well. So we got the buff jock ninja mirror matchup right now with the grungiest theme song in the universe. Two 6-6-A's six, six in a row. If that's not proof that Jin players think one and the same, I don't know what does. That 6-B as well is actually... I thought that would cross up. Okay, a really good launcher. Nice stuff from Water Guy. Oh, he knew that. He still got hit by the 2 2 A C though. Oh, he got hit by two of them. Holy shit. Wow, talk about unfortunate. He got hit by the super twice in the same round. See it, my man? Oh, Rabu, oh, he, good call from Water Dot to just stay on the ground for that long. Big. Yeah, crazy. It's really, like, it's really weird how it's like, there's some animations in this game that seem like a normal fighting game animation of this time, and then some are just straight up rotoscoped. It's like, it's, it feels a bit like Third Strike in the animation shit. That cartwheel is sick. Yeah. Damn. Oh, man. I mean, some people just be putting like 15 numbers on their names. It's like, dude, <laughs> no, don't Wait, worry. What do, you what do you mean I can't call myself Dabalu Million X420 Redditor Gold? <laughs> I mean, it's just like, it's like, it's just like Killmaster 9994657899. It's like, dude, you don't like. Don't worry. I don't think the, any of the any of the other kill masters will be in this tournament, bro. You don't gotta worry about it. I mean, my name is short and sweet. I mean, it's like your name's fine. I think most people's names here are fine, but it's like just some people. They just have okay, crazy here's a good names. question. Here's a good Jim question. If they destroy your is that good? And where is they destroy your 98? <laughs> That's a good question. When I find them, though, I will beat them. Absolutely. Or I should say, I should say delayed wake up, but like anything that could make your wake up variable, I should say. Right. The Iki guy is oh, really good. Oh man! Holy shit! <laughs> God damn! Yeah. That was fast. Rio's damage is disgustingly no. high in this game. He probably has the highest damage output in the entire yeah, class, was, like just raw. That was Artifine it's 3 right there. Can someone clip that? That was fucking crazy. This is a file that he downloaded. So it's really a weird set. That sounds also, they're playing. obnoxious. Also, damn. Oh, super. Oh, yeah, the thing with damn, Arlene's what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. That I'm did like super. that did like I'm 70 or 80%. I, I really yeah. thought that was a match for fucking Polar Bear. He just got that slam super. But, uh, Rapid Punch, uh, probably one of the highest priority moves in fighting games. Probably. A good throw. God damn, that's a lot of damage. Yeah. That's not fall for the cross up, but. Blade Tastic could have done a corner combo, Kasumi's com corner combo, so I'm probably the deadliest in the game. Oh, yeah. Purely Good. Oh, my God. Was that like. That was like 35% off of a throw. Jesus. The thing is, you do launcher into 6AA, 6C, 6B, it will infinite roadie. Man. It's actually comedic how fast. <laughs> like, after someone just instantly dies, it's like, oh, that's match. Yeah, it's very used to. Same difference. Oh, what the same. hell? 
<laughs> that button's really weird. Yeah, Jin is very funky. Um, I don't know him nearly as well as uh, Polar Bear does, but oh, man, she's just crap. very unpredictable. Yeah, yeah, that's the sixth. Yeah, he's got a lot. Of, he's got a lot of wacky stuff. Man. He can also turn invisible with a special move. He Weird. doesn't do much, but he can. Oh man, fucking dick punch. Oh, that was a good confirm, goddamn. Star graphic punch. Oh yeah, the names are reversed too. Yeah, I respect that. Oh man, that was just one normal. <laughs> God, this is cheating having a sword. Yo, Slam, why the fuck are you not in the storm? Stamina is almost out. Oh, you don't want to get punished now. You're very close to getting around. Oh, baton toss. Another baton toss. Oh, what the? Is that blockable? Jesus. What the? Oh, it's an ultimate KO. <laughs> Damn. God is ass. That's just around, though. Wait, is it? Oh, wait. Hold up. That won the whole game? Yeah. Like, the, the, like, the cast in this game is like. I don't know. It's like, it's it's kind of like Third Strike, where it's just like, not Third Strike, but just Street Fighter 3, where it's just a bunch of new faces, and then Rio and Robert. Oh, like, man, good string, Jesus. Oh, like, good punish. there's no Takuma, no Mr. Karate, no AD, no, uh... Uh, Ikigai mashing jab. I'm not sure. I mean, jabs are incredibly busted in this game if you know how to use them, but you can't just mash jab for most characters since. What the fuck? Oh, Talk about robbery! God. Oh my god! That, that's how the game they? for him. Hey, oh. okay. Okay, somebody actually clipped that. That was fucked up. <laughs> Talk about oh fucking robbery! God. That was so stupid! <laughs> Oh. He's got orb around him and he fucking wins the entire game. Yeah, okay, dude. Okay, honestly, God, I've never seen that hit twice before. Damn. Do you? I've only ever seen it hit once, but never twice. Okay, Jin's super is a lot more deadly than I thought it was if it's in the corpse. 